Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Engineering Classes. In today's lecture, we'll solve a question from Compiler Design Subject. We Both these questions appeared in GATE 2015 paper. So starting with our lecture and the first question, the question says that in the context of abstract syntax tree, that is AST, and control flow graph, which is CFG, which one of the following is true? So the options are, first option is in both AST and CFG, let node N2 be the successor of node N1. In the input program, the code corresponding to N2 is present after the code of N1. Now this statement is not correct. Why is it not correct? Because firstly, what is a successor of a node? Any node that has a direct edge from a particular previous node is known as the successor of another node. So since there is an edge in this case from N to O, so O is the successor of N. Alright, but it is not always true that the node which is the successor, that node's code will be written after the code of the predecessor node. Okay, this is the predecessor node. And why it is not true? It is not true in cases where go to statements are present so if we have a statement like we have statement 1 i equal to 1 we have statement 2 suppose j equal to 1 and there are certain statements in between and there is a statement that says that suppose if i is equal to equal to 5 go to 2 Okay, now this means that when I draw the control graph of this particular program 5, the node 5 is appearing after node 2 but after executing node 5, if this condition is true, there would be an edge from 5 to 2. That means although the code of node 2 is appearing before the code of node 5, still there is an edge from node 5 to to node 2 that means node 2 is the successor of node 5 therefore this option is wrong because the code of the successor can be present after its predecessor in cases of statements like go to okay so this is not the correct statement now coming to the second option for any input program neither AST nor CFG will contain a cycle this is again incorrect why this in cases of loops we can always have a cycle that means if there are certain statements to be repeated therefore there would exist an edge between a particular node and itself and that is known as a loop that is a self loop okay or there can exist a loop or a cycle between multiple edges also if they are being repeated okay so this statement is incorrect coming to the third statement the maximum number of successors of a node in an abstract syntax tree that is AST and control flow graph depend on the input program. Definitely this is correct because whatever be the input of a program, whatever is the input program, the number of successors that a particular node can have, it will in its abstract syntax tree as well as in control flow graph, it depends only on the program. So a node can have a different number or more number of successors if a different input program is given to it. So if there is a particular if case, if else ladder, in that case, a particular node will have more successors as compared to a simple if statement. All right. So yes, this statement is correct. Now coming to the last statement, let's check what it says. Each node in abstract syntax tree and CFG corresponds to at most one statement in input program. No, not at all. A single basic block can be a collection or it can be a set of multiple statements that are sequentially executed. So it can be three, four and so on till seven and any number of statements that actually can be grouped together to serve as a single block or a single node. So this is also incorrect. Okay, so the correct answer is option C here. Now coming to the second question, we have to match the following columns and the options in the first column are lexical analysis, 
parsing, register allocation and expression evaluation. And in the second column, the options given are graph coloring, DFA minimization, post order traversal and production tree. So uh, this is not at all a difficult question. See lexical analysis is useful when uh, you have to do DFA minimization. Okay, so lexical analysis goes with DFA minimization. Minimization. Okay, so P matches with 2. Okay, now parsing results or it is a stage of compiling that generates in the production of trees. Okay, the production trees or the parsing trees. So parser or parsing generates production trees. Production trees. Therefore, option Q maps to option 4. Now, coming to register allocation. Register allocation is modeled by graph coloring. Okay, it is a phenomena that directly relates to graph coloring. So, option R of register allocation maps to option 1 that is graph coloring and the remaining last option expression evaluation definitely in post order traversal expression evaluation is the main uh, criteria or concept that is used or you can say the other way around as well that expression post order traversal is uh, uh, be based on expression evaluation okay so s maps to the third option so the correct option out of all these a b c d are p maps to 2 q maps to 4 r maps to 1 and s maps to 3 so c is the correct option so that's all for today's lecture these were pretty easy questions you have to read all these options correctly and uh, mark the correct answer sometimes in match the following students calculate the right answer they match the options correctly but they mark the correct incorrect options because uh, they get a little confused between the options given so please don't make such mistakes you if you know the concept it will be very easy to clear any exam that you appear in thank you for watching the video stay tuned to easy engineering classes for more lectures in our preparation series as well as other computer science related subjects good luck